Welcome back to Cyber World YT. Like and subscribe if you are new here and also follow me on Instagram for more educational content. Link is in the description box. Today, we're diving into the intriguing world of mobile hacking. Now you might be wondering, what's all the fuss about mobile hacking? Well, it's a fascinating field that merges creativity, technical skill, and a keen understanding of human behavior. As we delve into this world, we'll uncover the secrets of how hackers exploit vulnerabilities in Android and iOS systems. From understanding the basics of mobile security to exploring the methods used by ethical hackers to assess and fortify it, we'll cover it all. You can expect a comprehensive journey that will give you valuable insights into the tools, techniques, and, most importantly, the ethical boundaries that govern this field. So, are you ready to embark on this exciting adventure? Buckle up, because we're about to explore methods, tools, and ethical boundaries. What exactly is mobile hacking? It's the art of uncovering vulnerabilities in mobile devices, both Android and iOS. Now, you might be thinking, why would anyone want to hack a mobile device? The answer to that lies in the vast amount of personal data stored on our phones, from emails and social media accounts, to banking details, and even business secrets. Mobile hacking is not necessarily a malicious act. It's often performed by ethical hackers, cybersecurity experts who use their skills to find and fix vulnerabilities before they can be exploited by cyber criminals. These ethical hackers are like the digital world's superheroes, tirelessly working behind the scenes to keep our data safe. But just like any tool, hacking can be used for both good and bad. This dual nature of hacking is what makes it such a fascinating and complex field. On one hand, it's a powerful tool for safeguarding our digital lives. On the other, it's a weapon that can cause significant harm when used irresponsibly. That's why it's crucial to approach mobile hacking with a sense of responsibility and ethics. It's not about breaking the rules for the sake of it, but about understanding where the weaknesses lie so we can build stronger, safer digital systems. And that's what we're here for, to learn, to explore, and to understand the intricacies of this digital art form. Remember, this video is purely educational. Here are some common methods hackers use to compromise mobile devices. First up, we have phishing attacks. This is a method where hackers craft cunning messages, often disguising them as legitimate communications from trusted sources, such as banks or social media platforms. The goal is to trick users into revealing sensitive information such as passwords or credit card details. It's a bit like phishing. You cast out a baited hook and wait for someone to bite. Next, we have malware. This is a term that encompasses various types of malicious software, including viruses, worms, and ransomware. In the context of mobile hacking, malware is often embedded within seemingly harmless apps. Once installed, these rogue apps can then infect the device and steal data or cause other forms of damage. Then there's the man in the middle, or MITM, attack. Imagine a conversation where everything you say is intercepted and possibly altered before it reaches the intended recipient. That's essentially what a MITM attack is. Hackers position themselves between the device and the server, intercepting and decrypting the data that is being transmitted. Finally, we have social engineering. This is less a technical method and more a psychological one. Hackers manipulate users into divulging sensitive information or performing actions that compromise their own security. This could involve anything from pretending to be tech support to creating a sense of urgency around a non-existent problem. But it's not just about understanding these techniques. It's also about recognizing them when you see them and knowing how to protect yourself. For instance, you can guard against phishing by never clicking on suspicious links or giving out personal information unless you're absolutely sure of the source. You can protect against malware by only downloading apps from trusted sources and keeping your device's software up to date. To prevent MITM attacks, always use secure and trusted networks, especially when transmitting sensitive information. And against social engineering, remember to always verify identities and never feel pressured into divulging information or performing actions you're uncomfortable with. These are just a few methods that hackers might use to infiltrate mobile devices. Kaylee Linux, our trusty companion, offers powerful tools for mobile hacking. 
Let's start by introducing Nmap, a tool that stands as the cornerstone of ethical hacking. It's used for information gathering, detecting open ports, and operating system detection. In the world of cybersecurity, knowledge is power, and Nmap helps ethical hackers gather that crucial knowledge. Next, we have Linus. This tool takes security auditing to the next level. It's used for compliance testing and vulnerability detection. With Linus, you can perform comprehensive audits of your systems, ensuring they're up to par with the stringent standards of cybersecurity. Then, there's WPSCAN. While it might seem specific, remember that many businesses use WordPress for their websites. WPSCAN is designed to scan these blogs for vulnerabilities. It's a reminder that every aspect of a digital presence right down to a blog must be secure. Aircrack Eng is another tool that you'll find in Kali Linux. It's used for assessing Wi-Fi network security and cracking passwords. Now, we're not promoting illegal activities here, but by understanding how a tool like Aircrack Eng works, cybersecurity professionals can better protect Wi-Fi networks from those who might misuse such tools. Lastly, we have Hydra. This tool is used for brute-forcing login and password pairs. Again, the goal here isn't to promote illegal hacking. Instead, by understanding the methods that malicious hackers might use, ethical hackers can better protect systems from such attacks. Each of these tools serves a different purpose, but they all share a common goal. To identify and address vulnerabilities in systems, including mobile devices. They're all part of an ethical hacker's toolkit, helping to ensure that systems are secure and that vulnerabilities are addressed before they can be exploited. These tools, along with the others in Kali Linux, provide a powerful suite for ethical hackers. They allow for comprehensive testing and auditing of systems, ensuring that vulnerabilities are identified and addressed. And while they can be misused in the hands of ethical hackers, they serve as a bulwark against cyber threats. But remember, with these tools comes responsibility. They're powerful, and they can cause harm if misused. That's why it's crucial to always use them ethically, and only on systems where you have permission to do so. The world of cybersecurity is a challenging one, filled with ever-evolving threats. But with tools like these, and the knowledge to use them effectively, ethical hackers can help to safeguard our digital lives. With these tools, ethical hackers can identify and address vulnerabilities in mobile devices. Before we proceed, a quick disclaimer. This video is designed to enlighten, not to encourage any form of illegal hacking. Our focus here is to educate and arm you with knowledge that can help you understand the world of cybersecurity more deeply. With that being said, we must stress the importance of ethical hacking. Ethical hacking, or white hat hacking, is all about using your skills for good, to protect and secure, not to exploit or harm. It's about finding vulnerabilities and patching them up before they can be exploited by the bad guys. It's about making the digital world a safer place for everyone. However, it's crucial to remember that ethical hacking isn't a free pass to pry into other people's devices or systems without their consent. Unauthorized hacking is illegal and punishable by law. So remember, knowledge is power, but it must be used responsibly. Always seek permission before testing on real devices. If you're fascinated by cybersecurity, ethical hacking, and all things digital, then you've come to the right place. CyberWorld YT is your one-stop shop for exploring the vast, intriguing world of digital security. We delve deep into the techniques and tools used by ethical hackers, bringing you the latest insights and developments. We're not just a channel, but a community of cyber explorers, eager to learn, share, and grow together. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a curious beginner, there's a place for you here. We believe that knowledge is power, and we're committed to empowering our community with the information they need to navigate the digital landscape safely and ethically. So, are you ready to join us on this exciting journey? There's a whole world of cybersecurity waiting to be discovered, and we can't wait to explore it with you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our cyber world community. That wraps up our mobile hacking journey. We've peeled back the layers of this intriguing subject, from understanding what mobile hacking entails, 
to exploring the methods used to compromise devices. We've also highlighted some key tools in Kali Linux that are used in the field of ethical hacking. Remember, while the world of mobile hacking may seem thrilling, it's essential to always use this knowledge ethically and responsibly. The power of knowledge can be a double-edged sword. It can help secure our digital landscape, but if misused, it can also cause harm. It's crucial to always seek permission before testing on real devices and to respect the privacy and rights of others. The goal of ethical hacking is to strengthen, not weaken, our cybersecurity. Stay curious, stay ethical, and keep exploring the vast digital landscape.